Hey guys, welcome to Indie Game Hustle. In this video, we're gonna take a look at Umodeler X. Um, you've seen some of the tutorials on Umodeler already, but this is the new version. Umodeler X brings some pretty unique features, especially considering that it's all built into Unity. Like it was already pretty cool before with Umodeler where you can just do pretty, pretty nice modeling built directly into the Unity game engine but they kind of stepped the game up to like another level where you can not only do 3D modeling, but you can now rig and you can do texture painting with layers, bro. So, hey, don't take my word for it. Let's take a look at it. Um, if you're not familiar with Unity, uh, head over to the Unity Asset Store and go and install the, or I guess download it, add it to your project and get that into your uh, into your assets. So basically you wanna get it to where you would go to your uh, package manager and, and go ahead and, and get that there. Now, if you're not familiar with the whole Unity thing, I guess I should go ahead and kind of show you the asset store a little bit. So pretty much this is the asset store. And what you would do is just search for you modeler. And what you would want to do is add to my assets, assuming you have a Unity account and all of that, um, and go from there. Now, if you're not familiar with Umodeler, of course, um, they did have an, a different version. It was the first version called Umodeler, and that version is still made available, um, and it still works great. I still use it to this day because there are some features that are in the first version of Umodeler that are not yet, yet, by the way, yet, in the new version of Umaler, which is the X version. And so while that transitioning is happening, I may go over to the old version and use it sometimes, but then I would go back to the newer version and continue that way. But whatever the case may be, you will go down this list and at the very bottom, you'll see Umaler X beta. So you just go ahead and add to my assets and go through that process. When you install it, the difference with Umaler generally now is that it has a hub. Once you install it and get going, there's gonna actually be a screen that looks like this here. So it's called the Umaler hub. And in this hub, basically, um, this is when you then install the actual Umaler X program or plugin. So then you would download the latest version. And once you get that version on your computer, you're good to go. So to get started with Umaler, you can head over to the top. If you don't already actually see this toolbar here, you can head over to tools, go to Umaler and do new object. And when you create a new object, what's it gonna do is you see on my mouse pointer here, it's gonna be like this little square there. You can, uh, once you click and drag and you select that object, I'll go ahead and delete this one for now. But when you select this object, you're gonna see some things pop up. You're gonna see the toolbar. And then on the right side of your screen, you're gonna see all the different tools that are part of Umodeler. Now in this video, we're not gonna go into how to use each tool yet. But for now, we're just kind of going over just the very basics, where things are. Here we have our object, and then you have your toolbar at the top. Now, if you don't have that toolbar, click on this little icon here. It's like a little gear, and that's gonna take you to the preferences. And so you can get to this, uh, I believe through Unity or File, then Preferences, and you go down to Umodeler X. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, uh, you can see where it says Scene Toolbar, you can turn it on and off. And so, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, Scene Toolbar, you can also change the position of that toolbar as well. So those are different things that you can do. Uh, we're not gonna go over all of these different settings right now, um, but just know that this is where some of these settings are. You can make changes to, um, the different colors, the size of your, your vertex size. I typically do make changes to that. Um, the color of your vertex, the edge color, all types of nice things. Things are just useful. And as the program is updated, you will get more options here as well in the future. And as I find out, I will let you guys know as well. Cool. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this window. So if you're familiar with 3D modeling, it's gonna have some of the basics here. In this toolbar, the first thing you wanna notice is that you have what they call the new create Umodeler 
button, I guess you can call it. But basically, if I click this button, it's going to give us the object to create a new UModeler X object, which is really nice. Okay. So you click and you drag in your scene and there you have it. Pretty easy, right? All right. In the next, I showed you the preferences there. Go ahead and delete that. Um, and then we have the vertices, the edge, the faces, and then the object. Now, ultimately, these are what you call editing mode. So put it like this. If you're here, you're in object mode. And then once you go into verts, edge, or faces, you're more in an edit mode, right? So here I can take my object, rotate, do that. I can grab my face, move it up, things like that. And so this is in the editing mode, okay? So pretty straightforward stuff, especially if you're familiar with 3D modeling. Now, when you have your object selected, your object is gonna be in your hierarchy on the left side, or it can be any side, however you have your panel set up. But in my case, it's in the hierarchy on the left side. And generally the default name is gonna be something like UModeler X object. And then if you create more objects, for instance, uh, let's see, it may actually call it one. All right, cool. So it would just keep incrementing the number as you add um, additional objects to the scene. And of course you can rename these just like any other um, hierarchy object or um, unity object for that matter. So when you have an object selected on the left side, on the right side, you're gonna actually have your toolbar here. And so what's amazing about UModeler X is that while these are all the tools, the way it looks, it looks so much, and I wouldn't say, I would say better. I would say that it looks better than the previous one, but because I've used the previous one for so long, I got used to it. And so it was okay with me, but this is such an improvement on the UI. Um, so I think it's really amazing how it all looks and it's organized. And now what's also great is like I mentioned before, not only can you 3D model, but you can rig an object for like characters or equipment or whatever it is you need to rig, but you can also do 3D painting directly in the Unity engine. And so here you have a script that's assigned to every object. And inside that script, the very first section here, you have like this stack. And this reminds me very similar to um, the modifier stack of a blender, or I think the modifier stack of uh, 3D Max as well, where you can add different effects that kind of kind of are non-destructive type things until you actually commit to applying it to the object. So here is that section here. If you hover over here, you can collapse the modifier. You can add a modifier and you can subtract or remove a modifier. So if I was to have this object selected and I click this plus symbol, Right now, these are the modifiers that the beta version currently has. And we're not, we're going to go over these later and how they kind of work, but just know this is where they're located. All right. Now below that, you have these different tabs. You have the modeling mode or the modeling tab. You have your rigging area as well. And then you have your painting mode here. Now on the right side of that, you have an export option. And again, this is a beta version. So Right now, I, I don't believe all the export um, features are all um, built in yet. So I'm sure those are gonna come. And as soon as they are here, I would definitely update you guys on that. But also next to that, you have an editor. Now this editor is gonna be for your UVs. So you'll be able to do UV editing. And as you notice, the UI is still very organized, very easy to kind of visualize what you need to do. And then you also have a, a different editor. It's a painting 2D editor. And um, again, it's just really cool that you have this built in Unity. So for those who really want to build in Unity and not really leave Unity, this is a perfect opportunity to do so. I'm not saying you shouldn't use some of the other tools out there, um, but this is a really great alternative to um, getting into some of things that could be complex, but you modeler for me is just simply, um, it's simple, easy to read, re easy to understand. And uh, the controls are kind of industry standard type of things. So 
with all that said there's all your different shapes and that's pretty much it so um i hope you guys enjoyed that so i'll see you guys in the next video